What's up guys, Intellitech Studios here, and I've got something quite special. Now, I recently did a poll on the channel asking what machine you wanted to see me fixed. And if we look at the results on my trusty Galaxy Note 7, we can see the overwhelming winner was the Bissell Powerforce Turbo 6585. Ooh, toasty. Anyways, so this machine, you might be wondering what... You, uh, some of you weren't aware that I sold my original 6585 that I had on the channel about five years ago. That I sold many, many moons ago. But through the power of Facebook Marketplace, I was able to walk into a stranger's garage with a $10 bill. And not only did I leave with both of my kidneys, I also left with this. Abyssal Power Force Bagless Turbo. Now, this machine is, well, I've, you know, it's the last version of this Bissell Upright that still maintains all the features, at least in the, the Walmart era of Bissells. So, after this, it was replaced by the Bissell Power Force Helix, and that was, uh, I want to say, the Helix and Helix Turbo came out in, I want to say, 2012, 2013, I, forget, I want to say 2012. I think that's correct. I could be wrong. So this particular example of a PowerForce bagless turbo, this exact one was manufactured on the 62nd day of 2011. This is a 2011 example. And I got it in the exact condition you see here. Um, I haven't done anything to this since I got it. I have simply achieved it and that's about it now those who watched the live stream saw this uh, saw this vacuum first as that was the first time I ever showed it but if we look at it it's uh, pretty decent makes kind of a funny noise but pedal release works seems okay whole thing's dusty as you expect missing all of the attachments unfortunately but it does at least have the bracket for the turbo brush which you probably can't even see it at least has the turbo brush bracket, so I could put a set of attachments on this, although they won't they won't match. They won't be the original. I don't have a red turbo brush. Although I believe this model came with a red turbo brush. The earlier 6596 came with a yellow turbo brush because they repurposed that turbo brush from the more expensive Power Glide Platinum and Power for or uh, Clean View Revolution Deluxe and etc. So this is. In my opinion, I actually like this more than the 6596 because it kind of has its own identity. Because to me, the 6596 is just a 6594 in a different color with a turbo brush slapped on it. There's not really anything interesting. If I was to have a 6596, I'd rather just have a 6594 and then also have this. Now, the reason why I don't have any other bagless pistol like this at this point is because, well, the filtration's really bad. So I haven't really kept any of them in the collection. This one, I'm not sure. I may keep it. I may sell it. I don't know yet. It really is a toss-up. But first, we'll take a quick look at this. I actually have an extension cord right here plugged in. So I can plug this in for the first time and see if this explodes. Okay, didn't explode, so that's good. And we'll see what happens when we turn this on. <laughs> It sounds fine, honestly. It really does. It's very quiet. It's way... For some reason, I don't remember these being this quiet. Like, were they always this quiet? I don't know. But brush roll is in good shape. For some reason, the high adjustment wheels feel really squirrely, and I don't know why. They're not broken. They, they just feel uneven. Brush roll... The belt is in good shape. Wow, that's a shock. Yeah, this is uh, this is pretty mind-blowing. Not only is the brush roll in great shape, not only are the bearings in good shape, and there's not that much hair wrap, the belt is actually in good shape. Yeah, sure, if I really wrench the brush roll, I can feel the belt slip a little bit. It is a little bit stretched, but it's not shot. The belt, you know, the belt, you know sure, I'll replace it, but I mean, it's... 
you know, it it honestly could. You could get away with it running it for a little bit longer with that belt. You really could. Um, so, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good right there. Let's see if, um, we'll check out the filters. So here's the HEPA filter. Although I use the term HEPA very loosely because this is the opposite of a sealed system. <laughs> but that looks, I mean, don't get me wrong, that's going to get changed. That doesn't look great. But, you know, for a, de for a decade, you know, dozen year old vacuum, it uh, seems okay. Let's slide the lock and seal lever. Pull this out. When's the last time I've held one of these? So obviously it's been used to vacuum up some nasty nasty gunk. I noticed this top uh, louver cyclone piece, whatever you want to call this, the upper the upper upper tank separator. I think that's what it's called. That part is pretty plugged up with stuff. There's a lot of junk in front of it. Um, that filter, not great. Um, it might wash up. I'm not holding my breath, but could be worse. Yeah, I mean, honestly. Oh, I love that classic musty Bissell smell. But yeah, I mean, does this, I mean, I suspect it does because that filter's not bad. Let's see if it has suction. Pull this hose off. <laughs> Brush roll does rattle. I know that. Um, I don't know if there's play in the brush roller housing. I'm not sure. But let's put this on the carpet and see. It's on the bare floor setting, which is not a good sign. Let's put it on medium. I forgot if this machine if medium is good. Yeah, no. Maybe one up above for medium. And let's see. There actually are some like little bits, little bits of things. I notice a lot of people like to wrap the cord in this cross pattern. I've heard that's to like prevent tangles. And for what it's worth, it seems like it did. All right, and that pedal's good too. Obviously, this thing's gonna need to clean. But let's see if we can clean with it. <laughs> So that brush roll, obviously, like, I, I'm amazed. Why is this? I do not remember it being this quiet. There, hmm. I really don't, I don't, rem, I really do not remember this machine being running this quiet. There's got to be something weird going on. But this thing is, like, whisper quiet. The loudest thing about this is the rattling of the brush roll, which obviously isn't necessarily like, it's not supposed to be like that. It's a weird fault with this one. But yeah, so that's pretty good, I gotta say. For 10 bucks, I'm more than happy. I mean, I, you know, this thing is usable. It doesn't necessarily need, in quotation marks, anything. I could just run it like this if I really wanted to. I mean, it cleans. Obviously, I'm going to strip it apart and replace the filters, clean up that brush roll, replace the belt, figure out why the brush roll's rattling. But yeah, I mean, pretty good, I gotta say. I'm really not, you know, 
<laughs> I don't know. I was, I was expecting I was expecting more of a challenge for 10 bucks. But, you know, this is uh, pretty good, pretty good. But now the question is, is as much as I kind of like this and want to keep it, I know that Bissels are pretty easy to move. So, you know, I know I'm going to have a lot of people blowing up the comments in this video asking me to sell it. So, hmm, we'll see, we'll see. I'm not going to say yes or no. I'm definitely going to keep it for a little bit at least. But we'll see if I, we'll see how well it cleans up and see if I, if I'm tempted to hold on to it. Because, I mean, honestly, this is, this, this is good. I mean, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. You know, it's weird because, like, obviously this is not, I don't really know if I'd ever want to daily drive this thing because the filtration's so bad, but, you know... It's it's interesting. It's funny. I was really just thinking to myself, you know, I kind of want to have get one of these again. Because I saw another friend of mine get a 6579-2. Go subscribe to Princess Sophia if you haven't. And, you know, I was kind of like, you know, it'd be kind of nice to find one of those again. You know, and I was thinking to myself, I, you know, I probably wouldn't want a 6579-2 again. I'd want the turbo. Something a bit different with a turbo brush on board. You know, preferably the 6585 model because that would match, that very nicely match my, my 3525 I now have and the 3537 that I just got in a similar color. You know, that'd be kind of nice. And then literally, I literally look on Facebook the next morning and under the newly listed category, this popped up. Right in town, you know, a few blocks away. And I'm like, well, there we go. I'll just pick that up. And, and the guy even demoed it in his garage. So a little bit a little bit of this was kind of known already. But it's pretty good, I gotta say. No attachments, of course. But am I complaining for 10 bucks? I mean, it's abyssal. Of course I have a bunch of extra attachments. Um, I, at least, not a bunch. I've, I've gotten some abyssals in without attachments. And some of those attachments have gone to those machines. But I have enough to put a set of attachments on this if I want to. Including a turbo brush. Although it won't be the right color. I either have a green one or a gray one. So, it's whichever. But, uh, yeah, so, obviously, missiles are popular. I'm going to try to get some videos out of this and do a review. I don't know if I ever, I don't think I ever reviewed the 6585 that I had last, the last time. And, you know, there's just something about these. I, I always come back to these. You know, I really should keep this, frankly. Like, objectively, I should keep this. Because I obviously want it. I'm obviously excited to get it back. Why would I get rid of it? I don't know. Maybe I'll just list it for sale for, like, an unreasonably high price. And if someone wants to bite, they can have it. <laughs> you know, that sort of thing. Because, ironically, the, my 6594 that I sold, it was the only time I ever got crap for listing a vacuum for too much money. Because I had it listed for... I, literally, like, after... After the sale and everything, I think I I the I got paid for that listing like thirty eight dollars, and that wasn't even counting the brand new brush roll I put in at the time. So it's like it was a joke because people said that was too much, but I made the mistake of having shipping be included in the price and not having it be the price plus shipping. So a lot of people were like sixty bucks. That's way too much for one of these. They were that much when they were new. I'm like, yeah, with inflation, they're a hundred. They, they, with inflation, they were a hundred bucks. And those same people giving me crap for listing that, we're we're selling elites for over MSRP. We're selling basic Hoover runabouts and sprints and 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 you know the basic standard elites that were new for 109 back in the day, and they're selling them for 120 bucks. Some of them like 200 dollars on eBay. It's wild. And yet, and people act like this isn't the exact same thing. It's a discontinued budget machine that used to be ubiquitous, that now is desirable because it's nostalgic for a lot of people, and most of them are thrown away. That's it. That's all there is to it. Um, but yeah, so that besides that little rant, because that was I, that was the quickest vacuum I've ever sold, and yet I got a lot of crap for it. So, um, but yeah. By the way, I am selling a lot of vacuums. Maybe not this one, but I'm selling many, many vacuums. So feel free to check out my mar my Facebook Marketplace page. And, uh, and yeah, and hopefully may maybe buy one, possibly. But, yeah, so I did, um, 
This isn't the only machine I picked up recently for $10. I also picked up another machine for $10. But, um, you know, there will be a hint uh, later on as to what that is. But, the... Although, I'm probably not going to do a separate video on it because these Dysons just don't perform very well. As far as videos... This is just a Ball Animal 2. It's one of the newer ones. That the cleaner head was completely clapped on it, so I put a different a different uh, UP14 cleaner head on it. And uh, it's, it's good. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, so that's pretty much that. So now I've got a new Bissell, and it's it's decent. I'm probably just rambling at this point, aren't I? Anyways, this is Intel Tech Studio signing out. I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you all have a good one. Peace. Now, I know you may be wondering, hey, where's the part where you fix it? Well, that'll be the next video. Stay tuned.